Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This was my friends over at Joanne.com. Week number four. Yes, week number four of our Bernat Blanket Stitch Along. This is the Festive Afghan. We're moving on to this section right here. So this section is just requiring us to do three single crochets and we're just going to do them in sets. So three single crochet, three single, three single. And the next row we just put three single crochets in the available space in between the sets of that. Just have to watch our edges and our attention on this one. You'll notice that this is really a nice tight stitch and I think that you will totally use this in the future. If not, that's okay too. It, learning stuff is always, you know, exciting in life. So without further ado, enough chitter chatter. Let's get on to the studio and let's get started right now. Before we begin in today's tutorial, I want to show you something. So you notice that the afghan is nice and flat. I know myself and I know that the tension that I create when I do single crochet. And I noticed on this one here, it looked like in the original sample, this came in just ever so slightly and I realized when I was giving you the tips on the gauge, this is the section that we need to worry about the most. And for myself being a tight crochet when it comes to the single crochet, I knew that it would probably be a problem. So I actually filmed this twice and I actually realized that when I had filmed number three, which has been corrected at this time, is that I forgot to put in this white strip in here and I immediately jumped. But I had actually gotten to the end of this and I noticed that by the time I got here my afghan was looking like this, not flat anymore. And that's because the tension of my crochet hook. So what I had to do is that I had to fix myself in order to repair this video and I wanna show you what I did and how I corrected myself. To correct myself, I had to backtrack all the way down to here. And what I realized is that I had done all of this work. So I just immediately just took my scissors and I cut across here, giving myself back to where this green was down here. But what I did notice is that when I got to the top of here, even though this, I'm taking it from an angle, see how this is sucking in and bowing in? That's because of the tension of my crochet hook using my 10 millimeter crochet hook. And I realized that when I got to the end of this, I'm like that is really gonna be a problem for me because I'm not gonna be able to keep this afghan rectangle. It's gonna be obviously in a, in a skew. And what it does is it's sucking in this one here to create that look. So when I redid it, I redid this part here. I refilmed obviously and then I did this here but I did it with a bigger crochet hook. So a 12 mill millimeter, a US 17 crochet hook in order to do this section. So it's the next size up from an N or a P and that will get you to here. And even though it's still in perspective at this point, the afghan is now nice and flat on both sides. Before it was actually really sucking in like this to do that. So if you're having a tension issue, you should increase your hooks. So if this on the off chance, which is probably impossible, if it was going the other way, you would want to reduce your hook. And if it's sucking in like this, you want to increase your hook to give it more space so that you don't lose your rectangular shape. So I'm almost betting donuts to dollars that this here is going, people are gonna say their, their afghan is sucking in. This is why it's happening. It's probably your tension on the single crochet and it's causing that to happen. So adjust your crochet hook size and you should be good to go within this part. So to quickly recap, you will see me using my 10 millimeter size N crochet hook to play in order to do this section here when I started, but I did eventually frog it and restarted this and moved up to a 12 millimeter size US 17 in order to get this done. So you will be seeing this hook, but in actual fact it was done with the bigger one to keep my edges going up straight, just like you see. So without further ado, let's go right into the tutorial and I'm gonna meet you right up here. So let's start clue number four. So number four is a really quite an easy one to do and there's gonna be a repeat pattern that is really quite simple. So it's got a repeat pattern of four um, rows and that's because there's two different colors being used. So if you really look carefully for two rows, it'll be one color and the other two rows is another. And when you look at the further sample out here, it's easy to follow. So the green has one, two, three, four, five, and six and then the orange has five in here. So you will be able to follow that really quite nicely. So you'll need your deep C to get started and let's take a look at the diagram that's on page number two. So for the first two rows we're gonna get ourselves started. It's the setup rows. We're gonna be using deep C color and you can see that we're just gonna be chaining one, two singles in the first uh, stitch, st uh, skip two, three singles in the next uh, stitch, skip two and etc. and go all the way and there will be two in the last one. And then coming back in the other direction with the same color with deep C, 
chain up one, one into the first one and then into the space between where they're reaching across is where we're gonna put three and then we'll keep doing that. So then we then start the repeat patterns of one to four. So this is a really quite a simple um, instruction to be able to follow for clue number four. So without further ado, let's grab our C green, our deep C and let's get started right now for setup row number one. So let's get it started on row number one and you can bury in your stragglers if you have any of your loose ends just in case you would like to do that. So you can do that right off the very bat to, in order to save yourself time later. So you're going to chain up one and you're going to do one single crochet in the first single crochet going right up over top of the stragglers to catch those in a position and you're gonna single crochet twice just like that. So just lay down the stragglers so that you can get them stuck and I want you to skip the next two single crochets. So one and two and go to the third one over and I want you to place in three single crochets. So we have one, two and three. Okay and then skip two, one, two and go to the third and put in three more. So you're gonna do that all the way down and then once you get a certain amount of a way you can get rid of these stragglers and just let them fall at the back and then you can uh, safely move on without having to worry about those falling out at all. So I'm gonna let those fall now and then skipping two going to the third and put in three. So please do that all the way across and this is setup row number one. When you get all the way to the other side just go right into the last one and put in two single crochets only. So this is setup row number one. So now you're gonna turn your work and move up to setup row number two continuing to use the C, uh, deep C. I'm sorry I keep messing that up. It's deep C. So this happens every other one. So it's the second pass when you're doing a color if that helps you to know that. You're gonna chain up one and you're only gonna put one single crochet in the top of the middle stitch. Okay sorry it's the first stitch but it's considered the middle because it's a half. And so all you're just going to do then is just reach to the gapping space in between where two span over and I want you to put in three single crochets there. So this is two and three. And then just reach in between the two spans. You can just jam your finger in between them and put three single crochets there. So that's all you're gonna do across. Just putting three into each one of those gapping spaces and I will see you at the end of this row and we're gonna be changing over to leaf orange when we get there. When you come to the other side the last gapping space before the end has three and then you're just gonna reach to the very last stitch so there's only two there. Your last stitch is that you're going to only put in one single crochet by itself. So what I have to do now is I actually have to back out one. So I just gotta back out before I pull through and then grab my leaf orange and start my leaf orange and get rid of this green and I can bury the green. So we're now going to start the repeat pattern and it's going to consist of just going back and forth using two colors. Um, just back one color and then back the same and then change one and two like that. So we're just gonna change out to leaf. You don't wanna carry the colors up the side. You want to just um, get rid of the green as we go now and then I'll just turn this around and we'll start the next row just to make sure you're on the right track. So let's begin row number one of the repeat pattern. So you're just gonna chain up one and then in the same stitch you're just going to uh, keep your stragglers down on top of the line so you can bury those in and you're going to only apply one single crochet and then another. So there's gonna be two into the edge just like that. So now you're just going to just kind of peel it back and you're just going to just feel for where the gapping space is between the two groups and you were going to apply three single crochets. So one, two and three. Okay and so you're, I'm just burying the ends as I go here and then it's just nice and easy and out of the way. So now you just reach, just use your finger kind of ply it up if you have to. Make sure you do our conscientious by letting some extra yarn kind of come out on the hook so it's not so tight and then you'll be awesome. Then when you turn around it's gonna be like we did before. I'll let you, I'll turn around one more time just to show you and then I'm gonna leave the rest for you to do the repeat pattern for the remaining of this clue. So I'm coming up all the way to the other side. I got my space in here and then I'm just in the last stitch just gonna put in my two single, or uh, two single crochets to make it flat. Okay. So now we're just gonna turn our work. We're gonna keep this color going and then we are going to then transition up and remember how we're going to start. So if we did two single crochets this last time it's chain one and it's only one single crochet this time 
and then in the first space here we're going to apply three single crochets and you keep doing the spacing going all the way to the other side. So what I want you to do is when you get to the other side you're gonna cut your color and then you're gonna do two um, rows of green and then two rows of yellow and etc. and you're gonna do that. So let's just recap on how many that is going to be. Let's grab our project here. So if you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows of like layers of green and then there's five layers of orange and that's what you want to achieve then in this particular step. So I want you to finish that and meet me back here and then we'll just uh, move on to the next set of clues after that. So at this point of the tutorial you should be able to see that you have six layers of green. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and then you obviously have five of the orange just like so. So this is about 10 inches in height that it says and I'm matching it to the photograph of getting it to the right amount of stripes that you see. So we just come to the very end of the last one and I want to get ready for the next week and this is clue, uh, will be week number five and we're gonna be finishing up this afghan in week number five. Place on your orange, pull it through and let's get ready and I'll see you next week and we'll continue this stitch along together with you. See ya. So that's it for now. Hopefully that you've enjoyed this stitch. I have not actually done this combination before so this is something I'm probably gonna be using in the future. Wink wink nudge nudge for another stitch along or something in the future. I love this. I think I like the tension and everything about it. We'd love to see your creativity of course on our social media so please use our hashtag of handmade with Joanne and just have any questions just ask the community and of course we'd love to see how your work is going. So take a photograph of your afghan to date and we'd love to see it. So until next time it's Mikey on behalf of our friends at joanne.com as well as ourselves here at the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.